Are you getting alerts in your Tesla that you have uneven tire wear and that your rear tire tread depth is too low? There's a few different ways you can fix this. The easiest by far is to just go to a Tesla dealer. They'll take care of you for probably like $120. The slightly cheaper way is you just go to any old mechanic and you ask them for a tire rotation. You wanna go front to back with no crossing. Not every mechanic is gonna have this special little puck that you need. So if you do this option, it'll be cheaper, but you'll need to buy these special lift pucks on Amazon. The cheapest way, and I think the most fun way, is to just do it yourself. For about $60 of parts and tools from Walmart, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna need these pucks regardless. You're gonna need a 21 millimeter deep socket uh, capable of torque. You're gonna need a breaking bar. You're gonna need a torque wrench. And you're gonna need a trolley jack. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this. I think the cheapest one is fine. To get the wheel covers off, you're also gonna need a hook tool. What's that? You don't have a hook tool. Well, it's okay, I figured out. You can make one with a nail and a set of pliers. If you have the regular tires, you can just take the cover and sort of pry it off. I have never done this before, but in theory, this goes underneath the car. There's a spot in the front and a spot in the back where there's a little hole that goes underneath. Then I take the uh, trolley jack and that gets pushed up underneath. I raise one side and then I should have, I should have something else. There's one more thing I need. Somebody took my jack stand. I don't have a jack stand. I'm gonna go get a jack stand. Two ton, three ton, I think two ton's fine. And a jack stand. You also need a jack stand. Okay, where was I? Theoretically, we take these pucks, we fit it underneath uh, one of the two, sp uh, both of them on this side. One of them we boost up with the jack, and then the other one we keep boosted up with the uh, jack stand, and then we lower the jack until we have both tires above the ground, and then we'll take both tires off, and then we'll switch them around, and then we'll put them back on. That's the plan. Okay, if you've never used a trolley jack before, uh, it's okay. There are two parts to it that you need to understand that you can control. The first is the pump, but the pump only works if the twisty bit is twisted all the way clockwise. Uh, the twisty bit is how you lower pressure, the pump bit is how you raise pressure. So if you're pumping it and nothing's happening, twist the twisty bit all the way to the right and then try pumping and then the top part should raise. It's too short. Okay, I think if I take the front wheels off the lift, there would be enough room to get it underneath. I could also not use the puck if that doesn't feel as safe, I'm gonna take the wheels off. Hello, it's me, Delia. Hello, Delia. How's it going? What are you working on? I'm trying to rotate the tires on my Tesla. Oh my god, that just barely fit. Let's lift the car. That pad in there is getting kind of mushed, and I hope that's okay. It's not supposed to. Well, I just don't know. Okay, before we lift it up, while the car is still on the ground, you want to break the bolts, not do them all the way, but just release them with the breaker bar and the uh, socket wrench that we had. We're gonna go in a star pattern. So start at a bolt and then go across and then keep going across and crisscross. A trick I learned about breaking bolts, you wanna pull up instead of pushing down. If you push down, you're limited by how much you weigh. If you pull up, it's like all your muscles can pull all at once. Okay, I took this part out of the jack uh, and it would be great if this was bigger because then it would just cup the whole thing, but it's not. So let's just, let's just go for it, I guess.
Okay, I don't like that the jack is like half of it's up off the ground. That uh, that doesn't seem right. Um, also, the jack stand there was no space for the puck in there, so but there was a space for like it to cup the spot where there is that uh, that hole. So uh, I guess I'll just keep going. Uh, let's take the whistle. Tires rotated, but you might be thinking, uh, do I tighten them now while they're on the jack stands? No, you do not. You finger tighten them, and then we're gonna raise this jack again so that we can get the jack stand out. Then we're gonna lower it all the way to the ground. And then we're gonna use the torque wrench to torque it to 129 foot-pounds. Uh, so let's lower it and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so this is a torque wrench that lets you have a very precise amount of tightness. Uh, and that makes sense because if you're a manufacturer of cars or something, your bolts and nuts have a certain tightness that they want to be at. Uh, so how do, you, how do you define how tight something is? Like, ah, make it real tight. <laughs> like, give it, a, give it a good old yank. Uh, so this lets you precisely define that. We need 129. Uh, how am I gonna do that? Kilograms, PSI, all right, here we go, foot pounds. Okay, so I'm gonna keep twisting this until, there's a number here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist this all the way up to uh, 130. So that 130 line, and then this is the ones digit, so this is the nine, so you want the nine to line up with this main line, and that's 129, that was a terrible explanation. Now, when we tighten the bolts with this torque wrench, it'll click at 129 foot-pounds of torque. So we're gonna go for both wheels, now that it's on the ground, in a star pattern, the same way we've been doing, uh, until we get to 129. Okay, it wasn't clicking, and I don't know why it wasn't clicking. Uh, so I tried turning it all the way to zero, and then it definitely wasn't clicking. Uh, and then I called my mechanic brother-in-law, and he said, at zero, you can barely hear the click. So he said to go to 50, and then test it at 50. So on 50, you can hear the click. So now I'll go up to 129. Uh, I was worried I over-tightened it, but I guess I didn't. Okay, so that's that wheel tightened. Uh, then you just slap the cap back on. We'll do the same thing to that wheel, and then we do all of that to the other side. And that's rotating your tires. Uh, this is my first time doing it. It took like an hour with shopping and stuff. I feel like next time I could do it in like 15 minutes. So, uh, yeah. And it would be free. <laughs> you don't need to rebuy a torque wrench. Oh, one more thing I just noticed. These, I think, they feel way easier on this side to loosen than the other side did when it was at 129 pounds to tighten. So I don't think they were at 129 foot pounds. And I Googled it and apparently that's okay. They, the, the car, if it's new, gets delivered with lower torque on the bolts than you're supposed to have it. So, okay, whatever. You'll, you'll be tightening it tighter than you had to loosen it.